In this video, we'll talk about imbibition, water potential, and DPD. Let us first take imbibition. Imbibition is a process of adsorption of water. We are not talking of absorption. So here, water or solvent is adsorbed. Now when we talk of imbibition, what examples come to our mind, very common ones. One, the seed, when we soak that seed in water, first it imbibes water. The water comes on the surface and then it gets absorbed. That means now it is going to go into the cell. During rainy season, we find that the wooden doors, they swell. That is again due to this process of imbibition. Now there are certain changes which take place during imbibition. One, pressure is generated. So there is what we call imbibition pressure. And this pressure at times is very very useful. Say if we talk of dry seeds, when the seeds fall in thin crevices in the rocks. Say this is a rock and here is a thin crevice and here is a seed which has fallen. During rains, when the rains fall, this, will, this is going to imbibe water and this generates pressure. One dry seed can generate a pressure up to 1000 atmospheres. And this pressure is enough to widen this crack. So this is going to help in soil formation or which we call the weathering of rocks. So imbibition results in generation of pressure. Second, imbibition also results in generation of heat. This heat, heat is generated or released. This is known as Heat of hydration, heat of hydration or heat of wetting, heat of wetting. Heat of hydration because water is coming in and that process is resulting into release of heat. Now how is this heat generated? Suppose this is the surface on which the water is to be imbibed. When water particles, they get attracted or they move on the surface, the moving water molecule has kinetic energy. And when these water molecules get adsorbed on the surface, all that kinetic energy is converted into heat energy. And that is why during imbibition, heat is produced. And this heat is due to coming of water, so hydration or this particle is getting wet. So that is why heat of wetting. Third change which we see in imbibition is change in volume. Volume increases. And as in the beginning we said that in rainy season, the wooden doors, they swell. This is because of imbibition. So here there is a change in volume and that is why they have become thicker. And so we are not able to close them properly. So there is a change in volume also. So these are changes which take place during imbibition. There is pressure which gets generated. There is heat which is produced. And there is change in volume of that substance or that particle which is imbibing water. Now the next important term is water potential. So let us take the definitions and the factors which regulate water.